Okay, so uh, we're down here in the basement, and uh, we're going to uh, start one of our first projects. Uh, it's a bathroom sign uh, that says, uh, please remain seated for the entire performance. Uh, it's a kind of a gag gift. And uh, so what we're going to do tonight is I got the stock in there, program's ready, and we're just going to face off the top of it because I don't have a planer uh, to do that sort of thing. So we're just going to do that tonight. Um, then we're going to stain it and let it sit overnight in the machine uh, without taking it out. And, uh, and then in the morning, we'll put contact paper over top of the stained area and then run the engraving. And what that'll do is that'll remove the engraved area and it'll take the contact paper above it off. Then we can paint right over top of that. And uh, then the, the contact paper will protect the stained areas and then the areas that have been cut out, you can paint with some white paint and it'll look real nice when you take that contact paper off. And uh, so that's the plan and uh, we'll see how it goes. Before we get set up, here's what it looks like. I got our clamps down, we've got our air ready, we're zeroed at uh, that mark right there, and uh, we should be good to go. Right now we're at zero, zero, and five on the X, running in millimeters because that's the way things go around here. All right. So there we have it. We got some stain on there and uh, got a nice even coat on it. It almost looks like it burned here, but I'm not really sure what, why that 
went really dark there. Interesting looking though. Um, it got some stain on there and then uh, wiped it all off. And now I'm going to home the machine back out um, because we want to shut the machine off for the night and be able to pick up tomorrow and just zero the machine out where it's sitting and we'll be good to go. We'll adjust our Z offset in the morning, but we want that X and Y to be X and Y zero in the morning and it's not going to move overnight. So we're good to go and throw that away and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, part is dry. Got it wiped off, put some contact paper on it. And uh, we are zeroed out, ready to go. And uh, we're going to try to do some etching uh, with this. And I'll let you know how it goes. So we've completed. Uh, it looks like there's a couple things I need to change uh, um, going forward. This is a great learning experience on this one. Uh, first off, uh, it looks like the contact paper didn't stick uh, for maybe a couple different reasons. Maybe it wasn't um, sticky enough, but I do know I'm using an upcut uh, bit, which means that it pulls the chips up out of the cut rather than pushing them down. A lot of guys are using down cuts. Maybe that would hold the contact paper down. Um, so that's something to learn. Uh, also, uh, it looks like, obviously, uh, from the pictures you'll see here, um, the really pointy, sharp pointed um, V bit, it's a 30 degree bit, um, is not really suitable for V carve. Um, I need more like a 90 or 120 degree. Uh, that'll give us a better finish. See, it really cut out those centers of the letters of like the letter A, M, um, lost the centers of the O's and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a good learning experience, um, but overall I think it looks fantastic for my first try. Um, also uh, another thing I didn't do is <laughs> uh, I didn't give myself enough clearance on the Z height for it to actually go all the way to the bottom. Um, I'll show a picture of it here. Um, basically the carriage won't go down farther, um, so I need to actually push the motor down further in the, the bracket to be able to get closer to the bed. Um, so just, you know, learning some stuff and that's cool. And uh, this is a funny little gag gift that we're going to give away um, tonight at a, at a party. So, see ya.